All right, Shalom Akiyam, all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Harachapadash, double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the Akiyam out there doing the work of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, in truth, faith, and in sincerity. This is Brother Tazapai back with another lesson. In this lesson here, I just want to deal with us going through this fire and this truth, you know, being being tempted by Satan, having ailments in the flesh, all these all these diverse temptations that the scriptures warned us that we would fall into, you know, just to to edify and empower brothers, you know, as the scriptures say, Yahweh Shai didn't leave us comfortless, nor did he leave us powerless, you know, so we were called to get a certain task done, the Lord is going to give you certain, you know, he, he's going to give you the power to carry out your task, to, to be, to be victorious in your, in your, in your calling. So, you know, it's just a reminder and an exhortation, but more so an edification for the Akion, you know, to, to operate in your power. Don't let Satan get the victory. You know, I know, like I said, we suffer these ailments. We we got to catch this hell here in Babylon on this side. But the Lord did, he did endow us with certain abilities and certain powers. And we're going to have to use them. You know, he didn't give it to us as just as the uh, parable of the uh, the, the, the uh, servants so like you who hid his talent in the sand, you know, the Lord give us these gifts to utilize for the for the uh, for the edification of the entire body. So, you know, we're gonna look here at the uh, book of First Timothy chapter one, and we'll start at verse six. And it says, "Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. For Yahweh had not given us the spirit of fear." but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So here we see Paul is, is reminding Timothy. He said, wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai that is in thee. So for each of us to be in this truth, the Heavenly Father had to give us the gift, even if it was the gift of hearing. You know, as the scripture says, be careful how thou hearest. You know, hey, be be the best hearer you can be. Because, hey, that's how faith coming. Faith coming by hearing. But when you go into this ministry and, and you, you're doing the work, you're teaching, doing what you have to do to push this gospel, to put this word out there. You know, it's the same, we're in that same lot, like Timothy. You know, the Spirit came on us, not so much as by the physical putting on of hands, but by the putting on of hands in the Spirit. And again, just as I said, I'll read that real quick out of the book of Romans, the 10th chapter, Faith Cometh by Hearing. So we heard this, we heard this doctrine this gospel of truth, we believed, and then, you know, for the most part, we went out there and we prophesied. But anyway, this is uh, Romans chapter 10. We'll start here at, uh, let's start at, Start at verse 16. All right. So this is Romans chapter 10, verse 16. It says, but they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah said, Lord, who had believed our report. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So faith cometh by hearing. So when we heard the gospel being preached, that was the actual putting on of the hands in the spirit by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So with that came a certain power, a certain uh, anointing, 
you know, we was anointed for those who heard and believed. You were anointed to to uh, preach this gospel, to do the works of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. So as Paul stated, going back to 2 Timothy, we go through that once more. All right. This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter uh, 1, verse 6 again. Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. It says, For Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai had not given us the spirit of fear, but of power. So we all receive the spirit of power just by hearing. And then as you know, you go into 1 Corinthians, the third chapter, it says, you know, how Paul watered or uh, Paul planted and, and Apollos watered, but Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai gave the increase. Well, after you heard, you know, that was the word being planted in you, the laying on of the hands, as Paul stated in the spirit. And then with the watering, you know, a constant diet and being fed this knowledge through the spirit, you, you, you should increase, increase in knowledge, wisdom and understanding, which is power. And with that increase in power, an increase of faith. And with that increase in faith, there should be an increase of boldness and an in increase of, of, uh, uh, what's that word? Confidence to preach this gospel and to do the work of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So that's why I said, for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai had not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. It said, be, be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but be be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So here Paul is putting it blame. He's putting it, he, he's being blunt with it. Be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel. So you come into this gospel to do the work, to carry out the ministry of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you're going to suffer afflictions. It says, uh, yeah, be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Now, when you jump over to the book of Hebrews chapter 4, and, and uh, we'll, we'll start at, we'll start at 14. And it says, seeing then that we have a, a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Yahweh Shai, the son of Yahweh. Let us hold fast our profession. So it says, see then, again, see then that we have a great high priest. And that high priest, of course, as it's stated, it says, that is passed into the heavens, Yahweh Shai, the son of Yahweh. The most high. So we have a high priest. Who anointed us, as Paul did with Timothy, who anointed us to carry out a particular mission. You know, we are all apostles sent forth to do a job, to, to do a mission. Each and every last one of us. So here in, in this saying, if we and we know in the faith that we have this high priest, Yahweh Shai. Hamasiach, who was given all power, and he anointed us to do a particular job, then we have access to that power. So that as the scripture says here, uh, let's read that again, verse 16, Hebrews 4 and 16. Well, uh, 15. I mean, Salakia, Hebrews 4 and 14, seeing then that we have a great high priest 
that is passed into the heavens, Yahweh shall the son of Yahweh, let us hold fast our profession. Right, which our profession is to prophesy, to preach the gospel. Prophesy and preach is the same thing. They are the same things. Verse, verse 15, for we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the with the uh, feeling of our, our infirmities. And the Lord know what we're going through. The Lord know all our infirmities, infirmities, all of our afflictions, all of the tribulations that we encounter and endure. The Lord understands because he was once in our shoes. And even Yahweh Shah said that the things that he did, we would do and then greater. But you have to believe. So it says, for we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the with the feeling of our infirmities. Right. He's he's empathetic as well as sympathetic towards us and what we're going through. Because like I said, he he went through the same thing. Being being come in the flesh. Being that he came in the flesh. So it says, uh, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. And it says, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So that's exactly what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to come boldly unto the throne of grace. And by grace are we saved through faith. So we, we don't have to we don't have to claim this. And walk in the boldness of, of, of the faith, the measure of faith that we were given. Being assured that Yahweh Shah, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah is who these scriptures say that they are, or that they are, you know. And that they're going to do everything that they said that they was going to do. Because we know Numbers 23 and, and uh, is it 19? Yahweh Vashem Yahweh Shai is not a, a man that he should lie. Let's see here. Bear with me one second. Yeah, let's see. Okay. This is uh, Numbers 23 verse 19. Yahweh is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Had he said, and shall he not do it? Or had he spoken, and shall, and shall he not make it good? So this is the power that we serve. He is a man that he should not lie. He, go, he gave us, you know, he gave us these certain promises. So now, you know, with us walking in this faith, walking in, you know, walking in faith, putting forth this this work, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to stand on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's word, especially with us coming to the close of this this um, wicked empire, you know. Satan is gonna come at us and see if we truly believe. So you know, with that. I pray that you brothers will edify it. all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Harachapadash, double honors unto the apostles, a great millstone, and peace and blessings to the Akiyam around the world who, who stand in the power of, of the, the, the faith that was given unto us. So you brothers keep standing and keep fighting. We're almost up out of here. So to the next lesson, you brother stay up. Inshallah.